G'day ladies and gentlemen, Beachy here with a new segment from the Mine Lab Show. Today I want to talk a little bit about scoops, how we're going to use them down the beach. We can use them for some gridding patterns, how to retrieve the targets a little bit easier, and uh, a few other bits and pieces thrown in there as well. So we've had a little bit of a storm down here over the last sort of three to four days. It's not a huge amount of sand missing, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to find some targets in this area back down at Henley Beach again. So let's see how we go. First on, onto using your scoop as a gridding technique for doing the beach, making sure you don't miss any targets. Okay, so scoop in the left hand, put the tip down into the sand, simply drag it behind you, and you'll see how this pattern will develop as I go, because it'll be too close together and then too wide, because when you swing, you swing further to the right and less to the left. So that means you're covering more area over this side. So as you go up and down with your scoop, you will see that that pattern will represent that. So let's get into it. So as you can see here, we've got two close together and then the larger space in the middle. Because as we swing to our right, that's our extension, we don't come as far to the left. So as we swing and come back, you get two lines close together with a large gap in between because this is your right hand swing. And as you're over this side, this is also your right hand swing. So you end up with that pattern of two close together, the next one far apart so on and so forth. That way you can make sure that you've covered virtually 100% of this area and not missed any targets. And of course your beach scoop allows you to do that. Let's go on now and see whether we can find a target and I'll show you how to retrieve it without too much risk of actually hitting that item. 16, 17, very close to the surface. Probably going to be a 20 cent piece or a 50 cent piece. Now if I pinpoint this, So my pinpoint is showing me that it's right here. But if I dig right here, obviously I'm running the risk of hitting my target. And depending on the depth, it could be a little bit off of that. So I bring it back to approximately here, lean the scoop right over, push down, scoop out, drop that alongside of the hole. Now I can see the target sitting on the edge of the hole here just to make sure I don't hit it, scoop in underneath. And here we go, got our target in the scoop. We can either side to side, give it a shake out, or we could have taken that down to the water and rinsed it in the water. And we have a 20 cent piece which has been down here for quite a long time. Of course, Make sure, fill our hole back in, and then move to the next target. Okay guys, so hopefully you found this helpful, and I'll see you on the next MindLab show.